Okay. You can take, write the question now, everyone, then we'll solve. But you all make please attention while you are solving and the entire concept what you studied, you have to remember it. That's what it is. Okay. So write a stone is dropped from the a stone is dropped from the Gokul, are you there? Edge of a roof. Everybody take the notes. I want to check it. It passes a window. It passes a window four meters in height. So what is the height of the window, everybody? Four meters in 0 0.1 second. How far is the roof roof above the top of the window? See, understanding question is also very, very important. Based upon that, you draw the try to draw the diagram, and then only it is easy to study. So now let us make now all of you. So, how to solve this question? and how to make it uh, very clearly. So if you observe this question, all of you, they are saying that a stone is dropped from the edge of a roof. So let me take some building. Okay. So we don't know the height of the building and it's not necessary to find the height of the building also. So they are not asking anything. And I have dropped a stone. So it is a roof and it is a ground. All of you check it. So now the window is present. Window is present of a certain place. Maybe the window is present at a certain place. What is the width of the window, everybody? What is the width of the window they mentioned? Four, four meters. The width of the window is four meters. Clear? And let me take that. They are asking now. What is the question they are asking? How far is the roof above the top of the window? Okay. So, means from the window, what is the height of the roof they are asking? Am I right, everybody? Will you all agree with me? Please respond. Yes, please. Yes, am I right or wrong? So, four yes, meters sir. in one second. So, the time taken to cross this window. What is the time taken to cross this window, everybody? 0 0.1 seconds. 0 0.1 second. Now, the question is, what is the height of the top roof from this window? That is what is our question. So, let me take, we don't know something, we will assume as a what in mathematics. What will assume, guys? We will yes. assume x meters. Understanding? So now let me take this point is A, roof, and the beginning of the window is B, and the ending of the window is C. Any problem for anybody? Are you clear, everybody? Yes, Shivani, yes. Asini, Asini Sudhakar, any doubt you can ask me. So now, we don't know that. Let the ball has been uh, falling. Actually, you can see that ball is, uh, they are not setting ball is uh, dropped from, you can notice it. Ball is dropped from the edge of a roof. It is passes a window in four meters, four meters, uh, four meters in height, 0 0.1 seconds. So how far is the roof they are asking? So let the, definitely you can see. Okay, well, and normally we can take. So what is the height of the window, everybody? What is the height of the window, everybody? Four meters. This is equal four meters. to four meters. What is the time period, everyone? Zero point yeah. one. And let me take G is equals to how much, everybody? Let me take G is equals to positive or negative one coming down. Coming no one doubt, sir. Yes, sir. Tell me. Sir, for finding the total distance, can we take it as 4 plus X? No, sir. That's what I'm saying, Mari. It is not the total distance. We want to calculate only this height. Okay, let us you wait first to observe. Of course, we are going to take it. Okay. Sure. Understand, Mari? Yes, sir. Yeah. So now, if you observe very carefully, so we all knows that at the A point, can you tell me what is the initial velocity, everybody? A point, what is the initial velocity? Zero. Zero. When it will enter the beginning of the window, 
definitely it will be having some velocity. Am I right, everybody? Yes, please. Yes. Please respond. Yes. And from B to C, if I take the second journey, then the final velocity at the B will become the what? Initial velocity. Initial velocity. Am I right? Every agree with me? Yes. yes. Shivani, Agalya, understand? Ma? Please respond, everybody. So that's all. So let me take now, what is the velocity at the B point? Understanding? That is what I will calculate it. Uh, of course, at A point, what is the initial velocity, everybody? At A point, what is the initial velocity? Please respond. Everyone. Zero. What is the initial velocity at the A point, guys? Zero. Clear? Zero. Now, I want to calculate this height. I need to know what is the velocity at the B point. Will you all agree with me? If you agree with me, then only I will proceed. Am I right? Please respond. Yes. So that is the reason the velocity at the B point for this journey, final velocity at the B point for this journey is the initial velocity of the B to C journey. Will you all agree with me? A to B, the final velocity of A to B journey is the initial velocity of B to C journey. Am I right, guys? Yes, sir. So only that is. That is yes, why sir. I want to find this velocity. What is the velocity at the B point? So I am assuming let u be the u be the velocity. Ma, not understand. You can ask me velocity of the stone at B. Okay. So now I know height. I know time. I know g. So you can see what is the which equation I can use, guys, for finding the initial velocity. You know time and height. So distance and time. Which equation ra? First equation or second equation or third equation. Time is mentioned and height is there. So which equation? Anybody? Second equation. H is equals to ut plus half gt square. Why can't we use third equation here? Because we don't know what? Initial velocity. Yes. No, final velocity we don't know. Yeah. Initial velocity. And main thing, time is mentioned. Is it time period is there in third equation? Time is there in third equation. Yes, Mr. Lingesh. Awesome. Yes, that's why. So what is the only equation, possible equation? Everybody. Only second equation. So mention the values. Height is equals to what? All of you? Four. Understanding. Four. Initial velocity. U. Time period is 0 0.1 plus Half into G value positive or negative, Amma? G value positive or negative, guys? Positive. Coming down. So over. So which is equals to 4. 0 0.1 U plus 2 1s are 2 5s are 2 5s are into 0 0.1 into 0 0.1. Anybody can tell? 0 0.1 into 0 0.1. Wow. Super. 0 0.01. Laksha, I think you are only. So be careful with the calculations. Otherwise, it is very, very tough. So now, next, 4 is equals to 0 0.1 u. This is u, guys. 4 not u. Plus 5 into 0 0.01. How much, guys? 0 point? Respond. 0 0.05. Am I right or wrong? Please respond. Next. So this 0 0.05 will come this side. So 0 0.1 u is equals to 4 minus 0 0.05. Okay, which is equals to 3.95, which is equals to 0 0.1 u. So u is equals to 3.95 divided by 0 0.1. So I'll multiply with 100, which will turns into 395 divided by 10. So which is equal to how much, guys? Yes, please. 39.5 meter per second. So this is the velocity at the B point. Will you all agree with me, everybody? Velocity at B point is 39.5 meters. Am I right? Please respond, everybody. All of you. So A to B and B to C. So A to B, this is the final velocity. And B to C, this is the initial velocity. That is what? 39.5 meter per second. Any problem for anyone? Please speak, guys. No response. No. Yes. What about sir? Now. We, they are asking what is the A to B distance. So we know Shivani, Kavya are there. What is the initial velocity A to B journey? So we all know H is equals to X meters. We have assumed initial velocity is 0. Final velocity is 39.5 meter per second. And coming down, G value is positive. That is what 10 meter per second square. 
So can you tell me which equation we have to use it? So calculating H, everybody. Yes, please. For A, Lingesh, you know initial velocity and final velocity. For the motion of the stone, motion of the stone from A to B, everybody, tell me. A to B, initial velocity is zero, final velocity. But we don't know the value of time. Why are you worrying about time? You know initial velocity and final velocity. We cannot find, you know, G value yes, also, correct, Mari? So third, third equation. Yes, H is equals to X and G value is equals to 10 meter per second square. Yes, Nivedan, Gokul, which equation you can use? Girls, if you want to be okay. simply sitting, I, I cannot be. If you, you have to involve. Princey, life will change only when you are involving in the work. Simply sitting. Yes. yes. So write the third equation, everybody. V square minus U square is equals to 2GH because it's a free fall. So initial velocity is what? Zero. Final velocity, 39.5 whole square, which is equals to 2 into 10 into H equals to what? X. So X, X. is equals to 39.5 into 39.5 divided by 20. Any problem for anybody you can ask me. Are you clear, everybody? Yes. So multiply yes, this one. So 395 on 395. 395, 395 is equals to 1,56,025. 1,56,025. Two digits before I am putting the decimal divided by 20. Okay. 20. So now let us go with the division. So can you tell me what is the division? Make it quick. First find the decimal, all of you. First, find the decimal. Sir, into 100, sir. Yeah, into 100 not required, Mari. You just died. do that. Okay, if you want to do it, Mari, nothing wrong with that. So, but you do the calculations. 78.0. Make... Yeah, you have to solve Gokul, not using calculator or something. Put That is the reason the basic failure is happening in the exam. You people are using calculator or something here. Exam it is collapsing. Try. I know this much less time you cannot solve. Please solve again. Understand, Gopal? That's what genuinity is very important. How truthful you are in the work is very important. Make it, everyone. Answer, please. Everybody try. You have to try. That's what I'm expecting. Pranav, how are you, man? Everything fine? Sir, fine, sir. Okay, take care, man. Every time, sick, sick, what? You should take care. Give preference to health. Always coming here, 10th class, how you have to be? Very strong. Hmm. Just tell me. Prince, Pranav, what is the answer? Sam? Alfin? Danshika? 70 point? 0, 01 very good sam so 78.01 meters so that is the height of the roof from the window so you have to write the statement also so the roof is the roof is 78.78.01 meters above the top of the window are you clear, everybody? Above the top of the window. It is just 78.01 meters. Okay, Lingesh. Lingesh, more efficient. 0125. Very good, Lingesh. That's what the more you are practicing exam, it is more easy to solve. So if you run if you understand that really, that is what I'm expecting from you all. Make it quick, all of you. Anything doubt you can ask me. 78.01, sir. Yes, yes. So, do you understand, Amma, everyone? So, this is not this is not the toughest thing. We all people know. Horizontal journey, we all people know. Observe very carefully. Horizontal journey from A to B. All of you see that. From A to B and B to C. Just horizontal journey, you can easily solve. Initial velocity is what, guys? Everybody? Initial velocity is what? Zero. Final velocity. Final velocity is, let me take, I got it, 39.5 meters. 
meter per second. Then this is the initial velocity from B to C journey. Am I right or wrong? Everybody? Yes, sir. Remember? And we don't bother about it. And they mentioned B to C distance is how much amount? B to C distance is how much? Four meters. And you can see, I can say next time period is given 0 0.1 second. So I cannot calculate what is the distance from A to B. I can calculate it or not. Everybody. Yes, please. All of you. Can I calculate it or not? All of you can I easily we can calculate because I know here time period. I know here uh, distance. So I can find the what is the initial velocity at this point. This initial velocity is the final velocity of A to B journey. Then I know initial velocity of A to B journey. I can calculate easily distance. That's all it is. Do you understand everyone? All of you? Yes, please. Yes, sir. Please work out. Hasani Sudhakar, do you understand the question, Amma? Yes, yes. Work, work. Any doubt, please ask me. See, don't hesitate to ask me. I am very, very convenient. If you are studying, I am very, very happy. If you are not studying only, I will be very aggressive. So please spend time and do it. Alfin, have you solved? I am just asking you. to understand the question? Shall I need to repeat? That's what it is. Like this means what is it? Anybody having any doubt, you can ask me. Pradvi, understand Pradvi? How to solve? Yes. Parasani, Sangamitrai, Shivani. Okay. See, yes, these sir. kind of questions are like, we can say, sir, critically, you have to analyze the concept. It's not the tough questions. The mind, presence of mind is very important. Purema, that's what it is. Do it. Okay. Clear? Now, I am giving you challenging also this one. So now you know this X and you know this, uh, this 4 meters. Now calculate the height of the roof from the ground. This is I am giving you as a homework. Let me see how many of you try. So this whole journey, whole distance you know people now. This is 78.01 and this is 4. Totally 82 point, yeah, 80, yeah, 82.01 meters. Now this total height you take it as a H and this remaining height is a what? H minus X. Correct or not? Yes, please. Or else you are feeling already X means you take it as a Y here. So this, this height is Y. So calculate that Y and uh, you tell me that. Okay? You type and you do it. I want it. Let me see how many of you will try and how many of you. This question is not existed till now. But I am giving you because I want to see the skills of you people, how much you are doing. Understand everyone? Clear? So right. Next question. A ball is thrown vertically upwards with a speed U. This is looks very theoretical question, but everything is conceptual based question. A ball is thrown, a ball is thrown vertically, vertically upwards, upwards with a speed, with a speed u, so that so that the ball, the ball reaches, you don't believe this question is like you, you know, exactly for your level, if I want to say you, this is like an IIT question. Because our universities, when I'm studying time also, you know, people, they will ask single question for exam. That question will be like, you know, single statement they will mention. It's not no even proper information. They will ask us to derive the formula or make the derivation regarding that concept. So we have to make assumptions. We have to make every concept analysis. A single line will make the derivation. And the thing is, you know, no two people will get the same answer. But still, they will be like, what we can say, the different possibilities will be there to get the answer. That's what, that much uh, deep analysis is needed when we are learning the physics particularly. So that is what we have to remember. So a ball reaches back, back to the ground, back to the initial, initial position, initial position with the same speed u. That is what is the question. So now let it forget about the question. Basically, I am saying you. Suppose if I throw the ball 
towards to upward with the initial velocity. Initial velocity maximum, final, if maximum or zero, thrown up. Everybody. Maximum. maximum. Once it will reach us to the final maximum height, final velocity is what, Nivedan? Zero. Yeah. And the same ball will start returning. The same final velocity will take it as the initial velocity, return journey. Am I right or wrong? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. And before touching the ground, final velocity is what? Maximum. Yes or no? And this final velocity is equal to this initial velocity. Will you all agree with me? Please respond. The thrown up velocity, velocity which we have thrown and velocity which is reaching the ground, both are equal. Am I right or wrong? Please respond. Everybody. Suppose yes. if I thrown with the 20 meter per second up, it will go to the certain height where velocity becomes zero. And again, it will come down where again it will touch the ground same with a 20 meter per second. Am I right or wrong? Please respond, guys. Everybody. Yes, Many questions you have solved. Verify it. Whatever the velocity you have thrown, with the same velocity, it will hit the ground. Am I right or wrong, guys? Yes. Yes. That's what they are asking. But we know this one by a statement because I taught you, or even maybe somebody taught you, you know that whatever the velocity you have thrown, with the same velocity, ground will hit. It will hit the ball. Uh, it will hit the ground with the same velocity. But you have to prove it mathematically. So let us take again the same thing. Thrown up. Initial velocity maximum. Final velocity is what? Everybody. Final velocity is what? Zero. Coming down. Initial velocity zero. Before touching the ground. Final velocity is what? Speak. Yes, so let me take this is the ground. Everybody. Make presence of mind. Don't be ordinary. Something you have to be special from somebody. That is only makes you unique. So that is what I'm asking always. Work with the efficiency. Namesake not required. So ball is thrown upward. It has been taken, went maximum height and come back to the same position. So it has been thrown with initial velocity u. It reaches to the point b maximum height. And again, it, this is the point a. Again, it came back to the same initial. So we have to prove it. So let me take now for the motion A to B and B to A. So two motions we have. So first one, for the motion A to B, tell me thrown up or coming down up. For the motion from A to B, thrown up or coming down? Everybody? Thrown up. Thrown up. Very good. So thrown up, let me take initial velocity is U. Alfin, are you writing? Initial velocity is U. I'm calling you. You have to be very active. Otherwise, I'm not going to be. Understand? And acceleration, tell me. Acceleration. Negative or positive or? Thrown up. Negative or positive or? Everybody. Negative. Negative. After reaching to the maximum height. Yes, tell me. Anyway, Gokul. What is the final velocity, Gokul? After reaching the maximum height, V is equals to zero. Understanding? Mr. Sam, you also. My problem, you have to make it ready. Inform further to make it fix everything. I want to make it because from the January, I will consider like a class 10th only. If you're not having presence of mind, it's not going to be work out anything. Okay. So next, let time be the, I'm taking, we don't know the time. And we all know, guys, time also equal. Going time is equals to coming time. Will you all agree with me? The time of ascent is equals to time of descent. That is what time of ascent is equals to time of descent, which is equals to time of flight is equals to two time of time two times of time of ascent or two times of time of descent i have taught you in the first chapter will you all agree with me everybody yes yes, yes. yes. so i am taking let t be the time t be the time taken time taken to reach maximum height what is the maximum height i will assume your choice what you can assume Maximum height, H. Okay, wow. Shivani? Yes? That is what? Yes, sir. You also fix your speaker problem, whomever it is having. Not going to be like continue like this means. So which equation I use? Initial velocity, you know. Acceleration, you know. Final velocity, you know. And you know time also. So which equation I can use it, guys? V equals to U plus AT. Okay? So initial fi final velocity is what? Everybody. Final velocity, zero. Clear? So why are you using first equation? What is our duty? We have to prove it initial velocity equals to final velocity. Am I right or wrong? Yes or no? All of you? Yes, sir. 
Yes, that's all. Yes, so that is what is our target. Now you can see. So initial velocity, final velocity zero, initial velocity u plus g value minus g into t value. Yes. So which is equals to u minus gt minus gt will come this side. U is equals to gt. That is what it is. So from this I will write time is equals to what? Lingesh, Kishore, time is equals to what? U by time of ascent, time of descent, time of ascent, time of ascent, going time, which is equals to U by G. Now, from the motion, and time of descent is also equals to yes, U I by know. G. That's fine. We have to prove that. That's what is our target now. Understand? Yes. yes. Clear? You take this time. Now. For the motion of the ball from B to A, it is coming down. So initial velocity is what, guys? Coming down. Initial velocity is what, guys? Yes, please. Write neatly. For the motion, for the motion of the ball, of the ball, Hasini Sudhakar, understanding, Amma? Hasini also. Ball from B to A. Yes, Hasini Sudhakar, you only need to tell me. Ball is coming from B to A, which is zero. Initial velocity is zero or final velocity is zero? Girl, respond. Initial velocity is zero. And we have to prove that this initial velocity is equal to this final velocity. Shall we go with that now? If you are ready, I will go with that. Everybody? Yes, please. Yes. 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 Initial velocity coming down. B to A. What is the initial velocity? Everyone, speak loudly. Initial zero. velocity. Zero. Zero. Yeah, time is equals to u by g. We got it or not? Above. Everyone? Yes. Yes, sir. Because time of percent is equals to what, Shivani? Time of? Time of and acceleration is positive or negative? Acceleration is positive. That's all. Positive. Again, which equation? First equation. Hey, First Lingesh, equation. Lingesh, are you there in the meeting? Pranav? That's all. So, v equals to u plus at. Now you see, initial final velocity u, initial velocity what? Everybody, initial velocity what? Zero. 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 Acceleration g and time is equals to what? U by g. What? U by g. So g g will get cancelled. Final velocity equals to what? Everybody. Final velocity. velocity. Initial velocity. Final velocity. Do you understand? Me? So such a beautiful question you imagine how beautifully the question is designed unless you have a complete knowledge it is impossible to answer this question that is what it is is it tough is it tough question you can write a statement also thus write it everybody thus the velocity with the velocity with which the ball which the ball reaches the initial point reaches the initial point is equal to the initial velocity. Am I right, guys? Yes, please. Equals to the initial velocity of the ball by which by which it was thrown vertically upwards are you understand amari vertically upwards ordinary i'm openly saying you if you are having an ordinary thinking how good you are in the exam how best you are in the uh, school exams and all doesn't matter like these questions how smart you are how much you are understanding the concept a deep understanding only will define you because you imagine that is there any information in the question? It just looks like a theoretical question. Am I right or wrong? People even won't understand what is asking. Am I right? Mr. Lingesh, Mari, clear? So you mm -hmm. must have a very, very deep understanding. See here how many concepts we are using. Throwing up concept, coming down concept, time of ascent, time of descent, total time. Do you think without this time of ascent equals to time of descent? Is it possible to solve this question? Anybody? It's no, important. sir. Okay. No, that sir. That is the importance of understanding concepts. Each concept have its greater importance. You should work out from it. Okay. Now, the same question I am just asking you. You have to prove that we have taken an assumption here. What we have taken an assumption here? Anybody? What is the taken assumption? 
Time of ascent equals to what? Everybody. Time of descent. Let us prove that. How you will say time of ascent equals to time of descent? Understand? So, make it everybody. So, again, so just this is what continuation. You can make continuation. Okay. The question is, show that time taken to reach the highest point. Write it. Show that. Kavya, are you clear, Kavya? Show that. Show that. The time taken to reach the highest point. Show that the time taken to reach the highest point. Highest point. Is equal to the time taken to reach. Time taken to reach back to the. Time taken to reach. Maybe just repeat it again. Yes. Show that the time taken to reach the highest point. Show that the time taken to reach the highest point is equal to the time taken to reach back to the reach back to the initial point. Initial point. Means they are what they are asking, guys. We have to prove, prove what they are asking. Time of ascent is equals to what? Time of everybody. Time of this is what is our target. So first motion from A to B, motion from A to B. That is what we used to call time of ascent or time of descent, ma. Time ascent. of ascent. Very good. So let me take it is a T one. So what is a, we all know, initial velocity, U, initial, I will take it as a right statement. Yeah, initial velocity, U, final velocity, 0, acceleration is A is equals to minus G. So please write it statement wise, that is good. So initial velocity, what is the initial velocity, everybody? Everybody, initial velocity, U, final velocity, 0, acceleration is minus G. So which equation? First equation. So u is equals to, sorry, v equals to u plus a t. Final velocity is 0. So I will take 0 is equals to u plus minus g into t. Now u is equals to my g t and t is equals to what, guys? Let me take t1. t1. So t1 is equals to what, Ramari? u by g. Okay, Lingesh? Time of ascent. Time yes, of sir. ascent. Time of ascent is equals to what, guys? Everyone, time of ascent is equals to u by g. Next, motion from motion from b to a, b to a. Use brain very properly. Again, same motion from b to a. Who is zero? Initial time velocity zero or final velocity zero? Initial velocity zero or final velocity zero? B yes. to a coming down, coming down b to a. Initial velocity zero, so zero. No understanding time time taken let me take uh, time taken is equals to t2 because here time taken what i have taken everybody time taken what i have taken t1 so this t2 is only we used to call time of descent will you all agree with me everybody yes, yes please time of descent and acceleration is what positive or negative ama everybody yes please Positive. Clear? Yeah. So again, same. V equals to U plus GT. Initial velocity is 0. V, v is equals to G into T2. T2 means time of descent. So T2 is equals to V by G. Sir, how sir equal? This is U by G and this is V by G. Is it equal? Yes. Because we know that since we have been proved in the first question, what we have been proved here? Everybody. V is equal to U. V is equals to U. Do you understand everybody? Since the velocity which it has been thrown is equals to velocity it has been reached the ground. So then we'll say T1 is equals to T2 is equals to U by G is equals to V by G. So both are equal. That is what hence it is proved. Anybody having any problem you can ask. So such a beautiful question you're asking. So like these things when you are solving the extremely presence of mind is needed. So please make sure you are solving. If you solve like this questions only, you can make exam very, very clear. Future also, you can challenge the exams. Understand everybody? So please solve it, everybody. Any doubt, anybody ask me. Gokul, are you clear, Gokul? Kishore, Niroshi, 
Yeah. And please show the value from motion from A to B. Yeah, from the beginning, Mari? No, sir. The yeah. second part. Continuous. Continuous. Kavya, understand Kavya? Yes, sir. Yeah, very good. Do it. Alfin, you Alfin? Yes, sir. Very good. Try Alfin. That's what I'm asking. You are, you are a good girl. You have to work hard. That's what I'm saying. Don't be very lethargic. Always presence of mind is needed. And be active. That's what I'm saying. Everybody is same like. Niroshi completed. Try everyone. Arasini, you also. Trying or not. Understand anything doubt you ask me. Everybody learn. See that how it